What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. And today we're looking at a hand history from Vince. So Vince played the $50 Globals, the Ontario version, and took it down. So let's see how he did it. This is his day one. So kind of short. So let's see how we roll here. Win the first hand. Already had 50 big blinds. We just blind that down. Might be okay. kind of turbo -y, skipping mm -hmm. levels. Yeah. Uh, ear. Can I board against the small blind? Are you supposed to see that? Not a great spot. Is that other guy not in the hand? It's a fake. Huh? Are we heads up here? It looks like it's three handed. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No, he's okay. not here. He's not there. Okay. Um. Hmm. 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 I don't know what to do here, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I feel like you can do a few things. Uh, I wouldn't hate just starting off like with a larger bet, but checking is probably okay or not, it seems. <laughs> yeah, maybe just start blasting. All right, so what a wonderful start. Great start already. So Mr. Lamb goes with a check. And it's never checking. Ah ha ha, surprise. What, what are we watching? Uh, good morning, by the way. Morning, it's Vince. Vince's win. Ah. Yeah, the 10 8, I don't know. You kind of feel like as when the small blind flats, that the 10 8 kind of hits his range pretty well. The 10, um, right? But no. Yeah. It looks like it does not. All right, but we're not range betting. Which makes sense. Yeah, but ace four, we have so little going for us. What are you yeah. going to really do? Hmm. Yeah, like you just, like this hand's just never going to get the showdown because if you check, you're never going to be able to fight a turn bet. Right? right. Like ace four suited wants to check probably all the back doors. And even if it goes check, 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 check. You're probably not winning at that point because he would have bluffed worse or, you know, <laughs> he hit something. Hey. So it's weird, right? It's a polarized strategy a little bit. L lots of big bets, lots of checks. Show the small blind range really quickly. The f Like what? What all he just has pre yeah okay so flatting a lot of the middling suited so he has some 8x not that much 10x here the offsuit stuff is there interesting he mostly has leading things, right? suited connectors mm-hmm so yeah, whenever he has the suited wheel ace stuff, he whiffs this pretty pretty much, right? The best he'll have is a backdoor or a, or a pair. Also, I don't know if that's true, because I feel like this guy has really no tens or very little, right? And I'm not sure if population has that little tens. They might flat more of the suited than they should and fold more of the offsuit than they should. Like population is not jamming too many tens or... Think and they're not maybe yeah. half of them, you know, maybe not at 40. I don't think they're finding jams yet. At 25, they'll find them potentially. So, not a great check on the flop. Then, on the turn, on the turn, Vince finds a bet, and it should be over betting. <laughs> Okay. Ace of diamonds, kind of nice, maybe. Block a lot of his natural check calls. And a king is like, if like ace king, ace queen, or and king queen are the hands that you're going to check, right? So. Mm -hmm. Right. First hand, first blunder. Oh boy. Yeah. When the times that we hit the king, we. 
want to pile in a lot of money, right? And then yeah, it's still we can bluff. Yeah, it's still king ten eight five, so there's not completed equity. So like king queen just wants to pot it. Get the oh, max value. Look at this return. board. Look at this board. So I'm not sure if Queen Jack is doing it, but we have a heart, so it's probably not bad. Great board to dunk from the big blind. We do it. Yes. The raise. Oh my god. Hmm. Now we fold. So we recognize that it's a good board to dunk, but is this a combo I want to dunk? Plenty. He raised back. <laughs> Oh my god, Mr. Land. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Mr. Lamb raises back. He has some read here for sure, right? Vince? He always has a read. The the pool on Ontario, the pool is much smaller, so he has history with most of these players because he plays a lot, right? Especially at higher stakes. Is that how you want to explain this? Stakes, Knowing I Vince, would, knowing I would Vince, assume he has no, a note on the guy. He has no idea what this is. This is just Vincent Lamb at its best. But the, remember, this is also like their big tournament, right? Uh, like this is, okay, we are there's thousands good. of people here. That's true. Maybe he doesn't have a note. When you say thousands, you mean like 950. Yes, thousand. <laughs> it's almost it's a little almost ambitious. one full thousand. So if you were going to 3-bet bluff this flop, what would be a good hand to do it with? I think this hand's a little too bad, but it makes sense to use something that like, you're happy to call off when you get jammed on, or you're happy to fold, right? Aren't you Aren't you kind of like blocking the folds with a hand like this? Like, Don't you want to target like just maybe his high cards that are deciding to, I don't know, C-bet? You're blocking. What are you even targeting? Like, you're hoping the guy has like tens and now is gonna fold to your click, or he's gonna this fold is, on the on the turn. This is a. I think this is just like level war. Level war at yeah. its like, finest. I know. But if you think about what the guy's raising, unless he's just on a on an air ball, Danny, uh, it's gonna Danny, have some interaction where he won't fold for a click. Danny is trying to justify Vincent's sh shenanigans here. That's what I hear. I'm just curious what we might try to do this with. If there's anything that... Uh, let's see. Trying so to like... ground it to reality. <clears throat> an 8. You don't want to raise an 8. Queen 9 off. And it's nine. 9. So you need a 9 here to click it from the back, right? An 8 or a 9. The upper part of what could be the straight... Yeah, yeah, there's so a little bit of cores cool. that are doing it as well. Cool, cool. Of course, yeah, so like the stuff that has the backup equity but is maybe not quite good enough to proceed with a call or is like kind of indifferent between calling and raising and folding. And... Yeah. I like it. Queen 9 gets through. seems good. Queen Jack seems spewy, but <laughs> there you go. Cause, cause, right? Like the guy doesn't have that many folds when you click it back. In theory, if we're gonna look at his range, um, so having a nine, you need like some extra backup that you can bink the turn when you get called. Jack of heart was enough for Vince. <laughs> and what do we do here? We think it's a limp. I would just limp. Everyone's pretty short. You can't fold it. That one? Mm, yeah, it seems good. Vince checks. What does the machine say? Probably both fine. The rainbow board? I might put this in the check pocket. I, I check 0% here. Yeah, I don't really check here either. Okay. Majority bet. Another blunder. But it's okay. This one's okay. It's not like the first two hands. Check, check on the turn. Yeah, why check again on the turn? Then checks again on the river. Oh, no, no. 
A refer is a bad thing. Why check here? We block the flush. It's Whoa. a four liner. Uh, well, the flush completes on a four liner. It's gonna be yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to play bluff catch on the river. Like when the board's connected this much. You're out of position. <clears throat> yeah, when I say bluff catch, that means you check first and then they bet and then okay, you, you play call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like oh, the, oh. the problem is like the hands that you're targeting are gonna have a hard time calling more than one ship here. Do you think people will correctly realize that their ace high or their pocket sixes have been sufficiently downgraded enough that they now have to bluff Galen? Or are they just gonna wake up betting when they hit a flush or a straight? Honestly, like I it think we're just like, no? yeah, and I think we're kind of past that because Vince limps and this guy decides to take pocket sixes post flop when he should just be but, like jamming. And then, so, yeah. like, yeah, super so, passive too, right? Yeah, so in my mind, like, this guy's just like not even thinking on that same wavelength at this point. Like, it seems crazy would, to play check with sixes. I would rather bet one on the river and fold if I get raised. Because I think okay. the guy's got like 5x or 8x a lot, or like some marginal hand. He's like, he's checked back twice. Either he improved and we're, we can happily bet fold, or he like has something that he hasn't bluffed yet and probably isn't gonna bluff, or he has a little piece that can call. Right? Yeah, maybe, you know, I don't, I don't hate that. I, I mean, I, I definitely don't hate that. I just feel like you're gonna run into some player types that are gonna say like one big blind is weak and they're just gonna over bluff that sometimes and it puts you in a difficult spot yeah yeah versus the tricky aggro guy check call versus the passive weak guy bet one and fold yeah yeah that guy's paying you a chip right there with those sixes probably this is a well could be. uh <laughs> first the under the gun limp i would be a little more precautious than just ramming 19 bigs in king jack suited Yes, you have correctly identified the hand. Thank you. I think it's mm -hmm. good enough. I would jam here. I know, I'm not. You would jam over a min raise. Why not jam over a limp? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> pretty, pretty position. Are you jamming over uh, yes. under the gun? Yes, you're jam. jam. Mm. I'm not sure. Not available. Just look at the min raise uh, category like Danny's talking about. I mean, it's probably fine to jam over, like, I, I, I just, under the guns. You can't scared. go wrong here. Never mind. I think. Mr. Lamb I, decides to lean back, which is, I don't think it's a mistake <laughs> whatsoever, right? Oh, no, I don't think it's a mistake. I Honestly, I would be doing this against some opponents. Uh-oh. I think it, as long as you don't fold, everything's fine, Pre. You gotta call yeah, once, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely do not Easy. fold. Yeah, call once. Well, yeah, bro, you got, like, your second best, like, second pair. Why would you ever think about folding? Two? Smeryl. I like Smeryl. Yeah, I think we can't really polarize because he's... Okay. And now we're all in? Just all in. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy uh, flatting off of 13. What is this? Uh, yeah. That's it's... kind of that's it's pretty sus, man. <laughs> I think I'm jamming here. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna jam. I'm gonna jam. He's got too many like middling connectors that he's probably being passive with. I guess I don't know. I don't think this is trappy as as it would be typically. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I would go off butt here. Half no, Both are okay. I want to play some or jam this. with like some nut spades, some jack ten suited. Pocket yeah, nines, half, pocket tens. I mean, half pot's fine. Half pot's fine. Man. A church? Yeah. That's like EP against the blind. Like that's what we saw before, right? Like it's going to use a big bet size. 80% there a lot. Or pot. Okay. You got a full here, right? Yeah, wait. What, uh, what are the other options? Again, the sky flats off of seven. <laughs> <laughs> What's he have? Okay. Okay, so I don't like small here. I think if you're going to bet, I think this is a, a better check or like larger bet combo. But you're, they, only 15, you're only 
you're only 15 at deep is the problem. Yeah. At this depth, I think you're allowed to do small. I think it's just a range bet. Range bet it's going to be like rangy with a, a with couple board. sizes in the mix. Rangy puller, right? Let's see. It didn't like quarter here, it seems. I thought we got some quarter here, though. Maybe not from button. Maybe not that's uh, maybe it might. Forty percent checking. Yeah. And fifty fiving like, a lot. Yeah. On these type of boards, like um, ace king and ace queen, they they want to check back a lot because they're still ahead sometimes, and it's gonna be hard to make someone fold because it connects so well with so many of their draws. Right, they're gonna have draws wrapping around the ten, draws between the eight and the five. Lots You're in the danger zone, hands. too. Like, if you bet and they jam, like, you probably are, like, a zero EV call or fold. Yep. Like, it feels bad to call off ace-king versus jam here. Yeah. And that's why, like, when we had that other one um, where the king turned, it was a polarized bet. Right? And we're going to see the same thing here. We want to turn a king or an ace. Thanks for checking that, Roger. Bravo. Yeah, mainly jam, but some calling too, right? So probably overlimp's fine, probably ISO is fine, jam is fine. <laughs> it all makes sense. I would keep it simple and jam usually with the king jack. Hmm. Just flip. Easy game. And I want to check this. What was it? Ten eight five rainbow. I want to check if we're under the gun. If we get some B twenty five in here, yeah. Then it's more rangy, and you get some small because we just hit it harder. The a greater percentage of over pairs in your hand, in your hand range, the more tens. Precisely. Ooh. I think this is a bet, but what size? Oh, Why would you bet? Why not yeah. check? You have the nuts. Yeah, you have the nuts. So you you don't want to bet? You want to check? Check. You're, huh? you're in the. I mean, betting's not gonna be wrong, but I would definitely play check here a lot, or at least strongly consider. It. Sandwich boy. Because there's already seven in the pot, you're not gonna have a hard time getting nineteen in two streets. Right, yeah, it's gonna be it's easy street, right, Pete? Like you can just it's not like you're folding if like yeah. even if some of the equity completes, you don't really care at that point. Yeah, you just bet half pot on the turn and if someone calls you, you're gonna be stacked pot one on the river. Uh I think you can jam this sometimes. I, I have been trying to find some of these offsuit middling ones a little bit more. I don't really do these a lot, but I think sub twenty they kind of fit into there. Raise like to three point five, or like I think you can just pile sometimes with some of these. One Maybe for them. Yeah. Suited ones for probably jam. No. Yeah. Not this spot. This is 20. If you drop it down to like 14 or 17, I would be curious to see if those start lighting up. Yeah, you can see it's, it's doing it with a bit of the worst one, like 8-7. Right? The ones along the the straight axis really want to limp. Right? Jack 10, 10-9. Yeah. yeah. There you go. 10-9 and 8-7 going for it. Yeah, they're starting to wake up a little bit there. but Yeah, and I mean, it's not like a huge part of the strategy. So I kind of struggle here sometimes. So I, I want to see this strategy. Um, king five to king jack, and then king four. I I think I I rip too much of these. Those are the ones that you rip over a limp as the big blind facing small blind limp. Yeah. See. Okay. See what I do here, Louis, and it's kind of, it's kind of an exploit a little bit, but like like Danny said. Your four, your king four, king three, king deuce play limp jams, <coughs> but that's not what I said. 
just oh, to be clear. Were, oh, you were saying you don't rip those over a limp or over a raise? No, I'm, so. I'm saying if you are the big blind and the small blind limps, you can jam those for like 15 to 20. Oh, it, they, work, three. they work as uh, they, they, I think they also work as limp raises versus a raise. Okay, that also could be true, but that I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 you said it backwards. But yeah, what I was basically going to say is like I just kind of put those in the jamming range too because people don't like raise people don't have enough raise folds, I don't think. They don't they're not raising polar enough. Like they're not taking their offsuit deuces and threes and uh raising Can you them. check Louis? Uh, well, all right, at 14 there's no way we are limp jamming king deuce. No, it's going to no, limp no. fold. It would, be, it would have to be it would have to be closer to like 20 for I don't, you, Yeah. I have it here before me. It's see, look, seven. look, look. See, when we call, oh, oh, okay, all right. I take it back. Yeah, but this here, it's the minority play. Limp call, though. Interesting. All right, I gotta yeah. tune some of that up. But yeah, when when small blind limps look at big blind was jamming king four three deuce, which is what I was driving at. You are looking at all 40 big lines. I was looking at 70. So every day I try to learn one spot. I think this is going to be a spot today. So you did boomerang? Yeah, the big boomerang. <clears throat> big old boomer. So limp. <laughs> Oh, wait, this plays jam, right? Did we check? No, I don't know. Not really, not really, not really. Jack 10? Oh, just queen jack, all right. It's it's kind of acting up, it's lighting up around like the nines and the tens more than like the jack. 10, 9, queen jack, 7, 8. If you click it up to 17, can we look at that too? 2? It it started hit, to hit fade the out as you, as you approach oh. twenty. Twenty? This is twenty? Seventeen? Oh, yeah. Seventeen? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. But this is chip EV, right? Yeah. yeah. I think you see these come in more when ICM is in play. You see more Jack ten, ten nine stuff jamming nine eight. Maybe. Maybe that's what maybe that's what I was missing. Yeah. I think if we put it at like ICM twenty five, it's just gonna jam this a lot. I'm betting here. Yeah, we just have way yes. more ace, ace and king. I think in reality. Test my hypothesis. Uh... You got a call? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you're kind of priced in. Yeah. At ICM 25 for 16 bigs, you're pure jamming King Queen, Queen Jack, Jack 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, Jack 9, King Jack. Not much of the Broadway's. Nice. Not playing any games. Yeah. Uh, I might just jam this, yeah, rip to it, be man. honest. I might just rip this. 20 already? Yeah, yeah I, I would rip this I, too. I don't know if I like this because if like the small blind jams on you, what are you what are you really doing? Like I don't know if you're supposed to fold this. But calling feels like really bad. Yeah. Oh you're a fourteen effective, yeah, then you should jam the A seven. I was looking at my twenty big stuff. Yeah, that's <laughs> wow. They're gonna do it. I think you have to call off for small blind. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It feels it feels like really bad. Unless but... they're jamming very appropriately. And then here. And it feels okay. I I like the bet on the flop, and I like I like continuing. Well, he's only got twelve behind. I think I still want another barrel. Like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to play this, man. Because you bet the raise, you gotta call it off. You're not happy, but you're not folding. Uh, you're probably yeah. not winning, right? Do you call it off? Is the question. Like, hey, sorry. Gotta... I don't know if you call it off. Maybe. Like, if you bet large, then you kind of priced in. But if you bet, like, small, small... Bet three and fold? 
Yeah, Let's you might see. bet. You, you, How you this might bet plays out at twenty per turn? I I, uh, I feel like the ten's just a complete airball. So like just avoiding trouble here by ripping, but we knew that. Okay. It's also fourteen effective though. Like you'd have to kind of manipulate it a little bit to find something a little more suitable. Okay. I found a perfect one if you want to let me screen share. I don't know what ICM phase we're in, so that's the one snag. But this is ICM 25. I don't know, he late regged day one. We're like near the end of day one, right? So this could be accurate. It won't be too far off. Uh, small blind is 10, button has 15, or big blind is 15, and then we have 20, and just like jamming pretty much all of this. Yeah. Jamming all this, right, right. The big, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure, like that. That feels somewhat <laughs> obvious. the The question is, like, how do you proceed when you make a post flop here on the turn? I think it. <laughs> well, is... this is more just like maybe for Vince's benefit if he watches this back. Oh, fair, uh, fair, fair. That's fair enough, Danny. Fair enough, Danny. Like min raise is the same EV, but jam is just easy. Yeah, you don't have to get in these turn spots, right? Yeah, honestly, this is kind of a tough spot to navigate, and I think like you you have to take some risk here. Oh gosh, and he calls, so he does go double small, and then he like luckily gets there. <laughs> yeah, because these guys are king. <laughs> so or you, a club, just, right? Or a club. Now you just put him in, right? No oh, club. Fold, so not a club. It was a king. It was probably a king. I mean. Yeah, that's good. All right, you're gonna have to call that sadly. JK, you hit quads. Oh, quads live. Qu quads live. What do you do here? Last hand of the day? Uh, you said last hand of the day? Yeah. I'm just gonna fold, man. I'm not trying to double these dudes up. End of the late the day one, blah 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 blah. You don't want to do something crazy. What if you're Vincent Lamb? He's gonna jam. I don't know. <laughs> like nice. Rates. Oh my goodness, he's just pouring fire, pouring fuel on the fire. No, I, I these should be ripping a lot on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, that's how we ended day one. Man gives no craps. So, not even, I don't know, one hour and a half, two hours and a half later, here comes the day two. And, oops, this one. Yeah. This one. So we start day two. I see you have three pounds of chips. Well, that would be like a rollback mechanism that they have. So um, I guess they rolled it up as mu this much. Seems kind of like a lot, doesn't it, Ken? Yeah, I mean, while well, the guy on his left's got six big. So, I mean, something that you're adding up, right? Well, that guy could have made it through with like I don't know, one point two bigs or something silly. I have a potential explanation. You said this is not only not only just a few hours later. That means he probably played a last minute or a last second, which are mm -hmm. turbo, mm -hmm. which would mean the effective stacks are lower, and he would get hit harder by the rollback. Yeah, Danny's smart. That's that's probably like the answer. Because you get 10 bigs in that last second flight, those things are like three minute levels. It's going to roll back into like 40 or 50. Uh, maybe. And then this guy didn't roll back. This guy just had the normal flight. And... Yeah, he probably yeah, did a standard he played the flight. Day one and he squeaked in tiny. with like nothingness. 2.1. We can ask Vince. That would also explain why the day one was short, right? It was probably either a turbo or a hyper. Yeah. This yeah, one we yeah, don't yeah. cover. Um, 
Honestly, you guys are both really deep, and it's it doesn't really matter if you cover. I don't think. Like I think. I think, think so you play. You want a three bet uh, or flat? I kind of want a three bet. Like you're deep enough to put this guy in some tough situations. Um, I don't know. Like ro roll the dice. I would mix. Yeah, I think yeah, both are good. Yeah, roll the dice. I wouldn't fold ever though. Folding is probably not good at all. The only thing that kind of makes me want to fold a tiny bit is the guy with five. If he plays jam, then it's going to be kind of a weird spot. Well, it's weird for the initial opener as much as it is you. It's not like <laughs> you can just completely disrespect your range. Right. And so when there's that uh, when there's that guy there and we have the option between call and three bet pre, I tend to lean more toward three bet just so you avoid that weird spot. You get cleaner, cleaner lines. Yeah. Okay. Uh, float. Once, right? Yeah. You fall twice? Not really. Uh, maybe not on a queen, especially if it's a diamond queen. The okay, queen I think you... now we, we're never fooling, right? I think you might be able to actually go for value here. You could just call. Just call. Lucky? Calls? Yeah. Play with well. Uh, uh, just just completing. Or, yeah. or jam. No, dude, jamming's punting. Not Did jamming it? that. No. Okay. Maybe just versus cutoff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's okay. probably not crazy, kid. Well, half the three has paid, maybe. Oh, old. Yeah, Bro, it's four. It's, like, yeah. it's big bet, multi way, like. Uh, out. Uh, Happy days. Jump. Yeah. Oh, Easy my poker. oh my goodness. What is perfect? Going? It's ace king, ace king. It's ace king, ace king. It's perfect. Uh -oh. It's perfect. Oh, just, just kidding. Queen. It's, it's oh. A, just kidding. It's a scam. What a scam. You know? You get queens and Come on, king, queen king of spades. Come on, Come on oh, he's nine. Do, he's gonna do it the hard way, <laughs> or he's just gonna get done the hard way. Yeah, he got done the hard way. He beat the bigger stack though. Oh no, he didn't. No, oh. I thought the other. I thought the ace jack had more. Just a call. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, it's chat. Um, I don't I, know. I'm just calling. I, Fine, I but... do this. I'm doing this sometimes, especially if the guy's like uh, on the aggressive side of things. This hand really wants to see five cards too. I think at this point. Yeah. Um, I think flatting's good too, though. Is it a mix? But... It should be a mix, right? Call and jam. I, I don't think it's yeah. Jam. I mean, you're blocking king? ace. You're blocking ace king. You're blocking pocket queens. You're blocking aces. I would jam off suit. Never to suit the one. It doesn't okay. like jamming here. And Can I we would look like at a frequent? I see him infrequently like... jam it. Yeah. Uh, wait. wait. Check. Uh, ten percent left. Maybe. Low jack. Low Five percent left. High jack. Ten percent. Low jack. Yeah, you need to elevate the risk premium just a smidge Jack. to see how it may uh, be. Jack. So ace queen suited your call. Well, uh, it's not the craziest thing. Like, look what ace queen offsuit's doing. Like, it's yeah. it's not mm -hmm. the craziest thing. For sure. We're yeah, like forty gallon. Forty-three are, we are jamming too, so okay. No, yeah, 30, 35, 34. Um, I'm, I'm finding one at ICM ten percent field. I have a 31 versus a guy who covers by a 46. lot. Yeah. Okay, share the screen. And let's see. I haven't looked yet. Share. Low jack, high jack. I see him 10%. Little clicker. Yeah, look at that. That's how you oh, handle the bully boys. And then there is a sliver of all in too. Yeah, it's gonna be competitive EV. I don't think it's like crazy. Yeah, they're all the same. 
all the EVs. Because we want to click aces, we want to click kings, um, so we need some other stuff to do it. Does that mean... Your, honestly, your range doesn't really like calling when you start adding, like, payout implications. Like, there's only okay. two combos in that entire range that are kind of like, eh, I want to call. So our click and fold is king-queen off, ace-10 suited. Everything else just calls it off once I click. All right. Interesting. I was kind of wondering if the click could be a thing depending on ICM levels, but I don't you, ever find that. Okay, out. say you click. Actually, yeah. what do you do against the uh, bomb? Um, against yeah, the jam? That's what I was just showing. Yeah, you're supposed to, it's supposed to be a click call. Even you call though... it all, except mm -hmm. king, queen off, ace, ten suited. Okay. Oh! Oh my goodness, what happened? <laughs> we dropped it 0%. Yep. And then, boom, he calls so with the what church. What you're saying is, it wasn't a prank. This guy was dead serious. Yeah. Wasn't Good thing we jammed. Else. Good thing we, we might not have seen the more. turn. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you can't suck out if you only see the flop. Yeah. Uh, um, this should be like a 5.5-er. Yeah, a right? big three bet, right? This is a prime candidate. Or do we flat the ace five suited? No. No. Bet? This is such a small bet. I don't like the size, but... Why not? It's just so small that I believe people float it. <laughs> it's easier to play back against a small bet. I just have the impression that when you use these sizes, so small, 25%, I know it's correct most of the time, but I feel like people are playing back easily against these sizes. What, what size would you choose? Um... A third. A third or a half. Uh -huh. But you get the same calls? When you it's go like... Suited, it actually, out. it is... A, well... In this formation cutoff has 34, but it is pure calling. So it doesn't but three first bet, cutoff. Because no? you three bit the lower, like ace deuce, ace four, even ace six is worse. So you want to have some calls with the better ones to flat. When you cover at least, uh, let me find a different config. <clears throat> In this one, we're covered with three, but it more. What if we're deeper? See, the machine wants to bet 10% or 25%. So 10% would be 1.2 big blinds. Feel like you accomplished nothing with that. You three bet and you bet 10%? I don't know. It's scary. What if he has um, nine eight of hearts? What's he going to do against 10%? He probably has to call or something. <clears throat> Our pocket fours. Ace eight. Ace you seven. Up holding? Ace eight of clubs. Going full. Yeah. Uh, you could probably start three betting this kind of stuff like you're a little deep i'm just calling i I'm play calling. call here a lot too but like as you start getting deeper stack this stuff plays as a three bet pretty nicely peter you still here you're on mute do you, you prefer three bet or call pre um you're pretty deep. The offsuit variety wants to three bet a lot. The suit of variety wants to call a lot. Cool. Okay. 
Yeah. King 10 off you, it's what, like 50 50? Flat a lot too? Um, I mean, as you as you get deeper, three suited stuff three bets more than like yeah. uh, the offsuit stuff, right? Yeah, but you're still 40, right? Like, yeah. Well, almost 60, but yeah. 50? No, 60 after the win, right? It was like 48 or something like that, wasn't it? I thought it was like 55. Yeah, I think but, just under right. 50 effective. Something like that. Yeah, yeah 40. Over. 40, you don't want to 3-bet your suited stuff because your equity gets torched versus 4-bet jams. But as yeah. you get deeper and that threat goes down, you're okay. doing more 3-betting. You mix it in more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And then so. flat the off-suited more, correspondingly? Well, that or fold it. Yeah, or fold. Okay. And then at 40, you like 3-bet King-10-0 mainly. You don't flat it much. Yeah, you 3-bet that stuff, because if you get 4-bet, like, who cares? You just pitch it in the muck. Yeah, and your your suited stuff wants to call more to keep the big blind in to flush over flush. Mm -hmm. Louis is done with the next hand already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 50 effective, ICM 10%, small versus cutoff. King 10 off, 3-bet's like 80%. For a whopping zero EV. Let's go zero. <laughs> King ten suited pure call. Nice. King Jack off though. Basically pure calling. Hmm. Yeah, it depends. This is like a fifty equal stack variety. Just this is a uh, little bit wide for an open, no? I agree. I mean, he covers the table. Well, not really. He's he's covered a lot behind. I would probably not open this. What is this? Last stack, 65, one on four. It's way uh, too wide. I would say it's bubble, but we're already day two. It's day two. Uh, like, I think he's just opening this. This, like, it's seven hand. It's eight handed. So, like, the bottom should be, uh, what, ace ten? Ace oh. ten. Oh, yeah. Ace and Ace 10. I mean, like, Maybe if he had ace 10. 9 here and he did this, I'd be like, eh, whatever. Okay, exactly. Vince being Vince. But dude, ace 6, what is this? If you got like 120 Did you misread days. your hand? <laughs> He's a risk taker, man. He thought it was suited. Out here Both taking reds, so that's, uh, that's could be. So I would jam here, 27. Let... Maybe it's a bit. No, deep. no, too much. Okay. Too much. The cutoff is at 25, and that's like chippy V stuff. Yeah, we're getting a little farther into the game here. You sure? You can limp jam, right? What do you think of that? Or not? I'm fairly certain you're not I think... just piling 27. <laughs> I think limp jam is more profitable, Louis. Right, we'll it's like what you would do with pocket threes. You limp jam. 30, I know. I know at 30 it would do that. I guess threes could open jam here, though. <laughs> I want to know 27. You got to start looking at ICM ranges, man. Yeah. Look at I told 25. this one out too. <clears throat> like, okay. This is All like right. the fringes. So 25 you can, right? Drop, and as you said. And, and chip EV. Yeah. Now, yeah. like Danny said, like you should really look at the the corollary with like a risk premium associated with it. So I can share, Louis. Uh, Big Blind has twenty five. Yeah. Look how, how look. Right? Or did he have thirty? Uh, it was tw it was twenty seven effective. Like Vince, I think right. was the limiting one. So, okay, so you can jam threes and deuces, right? But yeah, but that, yeah, that like, and this stuff. that's the construction still similar, but like you're behaving quite a bit more with some of this region. Like it wants to like dominate some of the stuff more, like more ace nine, ace eight to get calls from ace five suited and things like that. And let's see, can we limp jam? Still just call. Mobile and big man, this is James Stacks. Yeah. 
Only the most polar of polar polar ones right there. And what, Rennie, Roger? does uh, small band and big band have the same stack in your... Uh... Big has 25 here and small has 40. Maybe, I don't know. We have a bigger, we have almost two, two to one. We have one. 60, right? Yeah, yeah so, so it's not yeah, a perfect think... one. No, but like more similar maybe. I think it's a, the biggest covering I can find. Because we covered by 2x in game, right? Okay, yeah, this is good. Yeah. yeah. All right. So just mainly limp call, but raise is good too. Jam the more middling. Ace nine, ace eight, ace six. I'm playing flat here. I think it's a bit risky piling into this dude. Ooh. Oh, I watch. I watch this hand real time. Actually, funny enough, <laughs> this was like bedtime for me, and I was like, "There's okay." So there's a hundred people left in the tournament at this hand. Okay. And I was like, I can't stay up to watch events. I wish you could look. <laughs> There's no way he's going to raise. Please don't tell me. Okay, good. No, no, no. No, this dude, honestly, this dude completely, like, just there blast go, off. Okay. Yeah, it's complete punt. What this guy does, what? Ace King. Nice. Show me Ace King. A <laughs> pocket jacks or something. Yeah, Ace King. Yeah. Oh, Ace King. Saw until, it's saw just a complete blast off. Wow. Ah. This is the classic... A, like fish gets married to ace king hand yeah like he just over bet jams the turn too instead of like he could have easily pumped the brakes and not have gone broke there i would i just thought the guy had like an over pair i was like oh man dude vince you just hit the lottery yeah 10 thorn is not great for the three better right well it's not like uh, it's not like so bad that you, you can't like continue, but it's not like okay, one point two five x pot, I'm all in either. <laughs> yeah, but like with, the, with this hand, it's so bad because if it goes check 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 from here, you almost always win against a queen or I don't know what it floats. So well, when you get float, when when there's a float, it like you really the clubs to... missed. The caller often has like more flushy hands, you know. Yeah, Louis, this is the good old P and Jam. The guy's not thinking. The guy yeah. says, "I had Ace King. I hope it's still good." With a I'm great showdown in. hand, he turns it. He turns it. <laughs> I could hit an Ace if I'm behind. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm all in. He probably Just doesn't like have any Eights when he calls a three bet. Well, he doesn't have one. He has two. And it's it's just like that Vince became chip leader of the tournament. <laughs> big. Uh, Why so big? This is pretty uh, weak. No? You don't need to go this. Big here. What's the point? Fair yeah, board, only small. This stack depth, yeah. only small. You make nothing like indifferent just... with this. Your isolating value is all you're doing. Like you're gonna get a flush draw occasionally, <laughs> but besides that, it's just like a king's calling you here. Like he's no, you're right. He's... When you play this size, the guy can he can only call. He can play like fold everything except a king flush draw and a three, and still be fine. Like he's defending mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. You're not giving him any tough choice. Maybe some like good ace high ass to continue to, or like a not a three. Sorry, every middle pair as well, right? Yeah, they, they probably should be continuing, but I feel like, I don't know, man, if a guy's got pocket sevens here, I mean, they may continue very small, actually. I mean, you don't want to, to blow, so. Okay, yeah, that feels bad. Six yeah, is, sixes. Like, yeah, he, six. the only thing you get value from on the flop for that size is a flush draw and a three. And then the flush draw has a lot of equity against you, probably with an over card or two. So you're really just trying to milk a three for the max on the flop that he doesn't really have much of anyway. Or you're really scared and trying to make him fold ace high. I guess. Yeah, I guess it makes ace high ways. indifferent. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the, the big bet. Be just big losing bet. more than you have to. Yeah, you don't want to start bloating the pot. 
And this is like very basic. Vince should know that, right? Pair of board. I think Use if he one. were here, he would say he just wants to like make the guy fold some. I really wonder what stuff. how he would have justified all those blunders. <laughs> You're being a little loose with the term blunder. No, one of them was Vince, like mixing, man, he... checking, and betting, and you called no, no, it a blunder. No, it's Vince. He, he deserves no mercy. Okay. He's been studying for a while. The basic things he should know. Like pair boards, you don't blast. Okay, but if it's the same EV, it's not a wonder. Call it what you want. That one's weird. And opening A6 off, that was that was a weird one. Call. You call her, right? I guess. It feels like it's always that, but I think we still have the price, right? Is this a spot where you should be betting? Uh, it's probably not what bad. happened here? Preflop? I think it was just a bet call situation. Alright, this is blind versus blind? or Yeah, what happened here? Yeah, is it one big blind? Are we UTG or are okay? We are big blind. He min raised and we called. I would never bet this. Hmm. Would I? No, I would never bet this. No, we have nothing. We have nothing. We need a diamond. We need some interaction. We're in our <laughs> give up portion of the range here. We know it's pretty high in our range as well. If it goes check, 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 maybe we. No, beat. no, no. Huh? We have the nut low. This is like the worst thing in our range, but it's so bad that we can't even bluff. Like, how you is need that? To have a 10. How is that the worst thing? Name me a worse hand in our range. Ten Everything five? has a straight draw, backdoor flush draw, a better high card. You're really, yeah, what'd you say? 10, 10 4? No, yeah. 10, you have a straight draw. Jack 4. That's a worse hand. Jack three, like all the like one high card with the baby, that's jack high. That's it. And with queen high, right? Those are the only worse hands. We beat some showdown. But even those, like you'd rather bluff those because you have only one over card. You can never improve. Here we can spike a random queen or jack. You just check, check. Maybe start bluffing some turns or rivers. <laughs> Or get bailed on the turn. I mean, you. <laughs> this is also not ideal. Still, I, obviously, it's one of the best turns. But we would have rather gotten here via the check check line because now he'll have a lot of queen eight, queen six, queen seven that we've like filtered him to. Uh, that he's like, if he had, if he had queen three of clubs, he would check fold the flop, right? We want to let him keep his queen three of clubs with our queen jack so that we can get here and cooler his queen three. Now we don't know. It's a better queen check three. on the flop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to keep all the worst queen high and jack high in there. We should look I... at this though, because I could be spouting nonsense, but like I feel pretty confident that we should just pure check flop. I'm not if so we sure run into you... queen six here, I'm gonna laugh. I'm really not so am. sure you check the flop. Like, okay, so his raising range should be pretty polar from the small blind. So, like, he's got worse and better. Expanded, Our yeah. calling range is a little more like in the middle here. But I don't know. I kind of do agree with what some of what you're saying. So it does do some betting. It looks like oh, is that what we're saying? That was dirty. Uh, it's doing a little third pot stuff, but it does mainly check. I mean, thirty-five percent is pretty robust as far as like it's not like the che checking seems good. I mean, that's it feels natural. Like that's what I would probably. There's benefits do. for both, right? Like obviously, you can fold out some things by king high and ace high by betting. But then you can cool or some more stuff by. The thing is, he may not open <laughs> all that worse stuff I named. 
it didn't go limp check. It went min raise call. So he may not just have any of that in range. So how would you play this one? Um, I'm playing call here, I think. I was wondering, because yeah. I'm also playing call meta. I think it's weak, is it not? Because you three bet he gems the disaster. Okay. What else is there to do? You can just call? This he might be, be able to jam. Hmm. He might be able to like jam sometimes. But you are getting pretty deep here. Like, I don't know. I don't think I just want to play like... Uh, I don't want to play for all the chips with Ace-Jack suited here all the time. Okay. Thanks for it. I don't hate jamming, really. Like you got worse pairs that are calling. Can you find? I would one? call here, Louis. I'm I'm with you. Yep, Can you find a nice sim, sim, Danny? Or wait. Yeah, let's go five percent now. I think it's five percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has got to be like it's sub one hundred. You're gonna beat me to it. Oh, metal stocks, right? We could look at equal stack 20. Or 25. Um, I found an okay one. Yeah, I found a pretty good one actually. So Let me not share. All inning, is that what it's what is? Did you what find a good 20? One? You can mix. So 20 equal stacks, you can mix. Got one. This has the cutoff big stack, and then the ones behind aren't quite right. But Your call here. And it was calling the other one a lot as well. Look at the EV. Yeah, it's all the same. Oh, but if you if you three bet it, how do you handle it versus four bets? I think is kind of what's going on there. Okay, let's see if we get jammed by the original guy. Let's look at what he's doing it with. Crying is what you're doing. He's got some bluffs Maybe that you're ahead of. Maybe not in reality. Some pairs. I like using the sevens and eights a lot here. And. Well, it's not there because we didn't play, but Ace-10 suited Ace calls 10. off, so yeah, it would Ace call off. Suited. Yeah. What on earth is this but in practice, I'm not sure inducing will print the same EV. Maybe play flat or jam. Although if you flat, you can also induce, let's say you induce one of these guys, right? Um, that guy jams. Holds back to you, Curse. and then you have a nice call. So it's good. <clears throat> it's good to have it as a flat because it helps protect your flat range. You want to have queen jack suited, ten, jack ten suited, king queen o. These are hands like very naturally want to play call a lot, and then we'll have to fold to a jam. So it's nice to put in a another like hand that functions well as a call and can continue when you get jammed on. Thank you. Yeah. Two point one. <laughs> Three bet or fold. I think this is just a fold. Am I wrong? EP, EP, mm -hmm. maybe low frequency three bit, mainly fold. Like a little like 20, 30 percenter. Actually the seven, yeah, yeah, yeah I think like low frequency, something like that. Mm, like 30-ish. What were the positions? Low jack and under. Low jack, UTG1. Okay, I think this one Low is... Low jack good. has 28. I 
found one that's okay. Looks like a mainly pure fold. Tiny baby sliver of 3-bet. 2%. I can share again if you want. It's not quite the same because the opener is shallower, but it should be close. Okay. Kind of the right region. Can't be terrible. Just don't overdo it. Yep. Oh, sorry. Were you, did you want to see more? No. Okay. I knew it was a fall. I was just, just wasn't hundred percent sure. Oh, call is, yeah, funky. Not, not good. Yeah, a little bit funky. A little loose and splashy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay. You get behind that. Here, I like a uh, jump. Happy days. Open, get jammed on, fold. Uh, Lynn? Probably a GTO jam. This one. You crazy? Yeah. Nope. Oh my goodness. Tell me you're kidding. Nope. Tell me it's a joke. You want to check I stem? Tell me it's a big joke, Danny. <laughs> I refuse. Tell me you're lying. Where's Driller to back me up? <clears throat> no, 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 no. This is, this is like a jam. That's what we were talking about earlier, man. This whole region of hands lights up. Like, I've been trying to find more of these. Uh, okay. Let me share. No. <laughs> Here? Um, am I doing something wrong? Small blind RFI, no jams. You're looking at equal stack. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of all 20. That's what you're doing wrong. No, we have twice the chips of this guy. So you Equistack like breaks ICM for some reason sometimes. Like you, you need there to be an imbalance so like risk premiums are at play. Yeah, it makes it all wonky. Click on the big blind and find uh like one where he's twenty and then oh here. Wait, Forty you get one? twenty. How much does the big blind have here? 20. Are you sure? Yes. Because I'm looking at the same spot 26. and it looks different. Yeah, 26. Go down to 20. You'll find a good one. You mean like this here and then... That one. You need yeah. double stack. Well, you can look That's at good. 46, 22 below if you want, but the average is higher. I don't know. Where do you take so Try long? both. It won't take long. 9-8. Okay. okay, so that's savage. Limp is good, too. And then... On this and one? At 20. Jams again? Same thing. You can do one slightly shorter, just for fun. Uh, Like 26-17, maybe? Yeah, either of those. All right, look at all that suited stuff. 10, 8, 10, 7, 8, 6. 9, 8, pretty robust. Queen Jack off. Although the suited, uh, sorry, off suited connector stuff kind of finds some jams in this stack size region. We should do more ICM drills next week. Yeah, let's see it. I say big bet. 
Mm, locked up at Quickie. Locked up. Yeah. You don't have a diamond. That's all. Three sheet. Just two here. Yeah. Or, or check that. You don't have a diamond here. This Ooh, is pretty tricky, bad. trappy. So whenever there's locked up equity, Mr. Lamb, you don't want to bet big. Check back aces, bet 0%. small kings. No, no, no. Just bet small. A little checking. What do we do? Can we see with aces? Do we check? I think you could if you wanted. But... Or maybe we're too short to care too much about that. Maybe that's a bit of a deeper stack heuristic here. Yeah, not really. It's still too good. Ouch. What do you do? You fold? Wow, he just rips it. Oh, man. Um, ugh, depends maybe on reads. Generally, lean a fold, yeah. Uh, there's some guys I could see myself putting chips in here, though. <laughs> Seems a little crazy at this point in the game. Um... I don't know. I like clicking here like that. I might just rip it. I'd rather just be all in than induce. Very good. We went from. We're missing a limp check pot. Oh, you didn't. Oh, okay, no. We went from 32 to 30. Yeah, we played the big blind. There's a hand in between. We must have checked back in the big blind and then bluffed it off. Or called down. So it's, it would be roughly here, back of 10. What's the back of 10? So this is the beginning, five, 10. Where is the back of 10? There it is. So king, queen. Now we just uh, blind out. We don't play any hand. Oh no, okay, second, quick second. So it's here. And then I need to click and then it's all done. Oh my God, how am I gonna do that? Okay, it was 448. 448. Check, 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 and then call the river. Fold, 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 fold. Hey, we just don't play anything. Oh, really? Yeah, with 37 to... Oh, it tricked me because we, we were under the gun, and then there would have been a big blind hand, and then yeah. we were small blind, and we lost all the chips. But yeah, it was the... just a bunch of orbits later. There was one hand, but it was just a very small one. Okay. Here we go with pocket tens. King Queen of Diamond facing the one. Ooh, this one gets a little bit dicey. It's kind of a jam and clench. I wouldn't actually hate over limping, given it's UTG, UTG1. You have six ranges behind to contend with. Any of who could wake up with a good hand. You kind of just stick your neck out here by going all in. You're, you're 
hoping and praying nobody wakes up. Whereas if you overlimp, you still play with a strong hand against a wide range, and you can see what happens and proceed accordingly, right? If it goes jam, call, call, you can get out. Yeah, okay, okay. In the same vein, you could just play the Galen and min raise. You could 2.5, you could 3. Like, there's a whole bunch of options here. Jam seems a little risky. If you were button here, I would love it. But I don't know. Yeah, Roger. And it's for the, the same reason, right? Your tournament life now becomes more and more and more valuable. The chips you have become more and more and more valuable. Preserving, like staying in the game is incredibly important. So you don't just want to put all your chips in in the dark like this with six people left to act and pray. That's like generally not a good tournament decision when you're trying to preserve your life. Unless you just have like ace-king and you kind of don't care if you get called. Stuff like that. Eights I don't think are quite in that camp. So this one is a pretty big one. Limb, raise 3.5, tall. Uh, on the board, check. And we let we decide to bet pretty small. We could polarize here if we wanted to. But I think it's all over the place, right? Turn deuce. Aha, this is where we, we make a little mistake. With the spade, we should never check back. We should be blasting. I Up. mean, why bet flop if you're going to get the turn and check it back? Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, you pick up equity, you're supposed to be betting, right? And river, yeah. I think some misunderstanding of where we're at in our range here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the options are open. If you check the flop, you're trying to get ace high to showdown. If you bet the flop, you're trying to block off spades. Agreed. A little bit of inconsistency. Maybe a little overvaluing of ace high on this board on the flop. Um, what should we do here? Cut off opens, small blind calls, or from the big blind, ace four off. I mean, it's risky business, but I'm never you, might be able to jam. you might be able to jam here. Really? Well, dude, it's a steal versus a really capped range. Like, small blind flatting here, like, what's what's in there? Do you prefer to jam this more with small blind calling or more if he folds? More if he calls. Yeah, you're. I it, I kind of go you, the other way with it. You just win more. It like you're you're risking the same amount to win more against a guy who's very unlikely to call. See, that's where I'm not sure that he. Uh, I mean, is he really gonna play call fold to us? I guess he can. Yeah. Don't you have to be a little more linear with two ranges in the pot now and you want to use a little bit of better stuff? Ace 8 Not, off, maybe? Yeah, generally. But you're dealing with a steal, which is like got all kinds of trash in it. And then you're dealing with a flat, which is completely... I mean, there, there's not really traps in this range. Like, what do you think the best hand that he's flatting here from the small blind is? There sh in theory, I think there should be traps here. Like what? What what's flatting there out of position in your mind? Uh, I'm not sure. Ace. Uh, you have, like, okay, wait. Ace six suited. The ace five. What are those? Yeah, sevens. yeah. Ace okay. six, ace five suited. Those would be in there, but like, what are those doing versus jam? Holding mostly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
right? Like having the ace blocker here is just is just good enough. And like when you win this pot, you're winning like five chips, right? Like you're increasing your stack by a third. And you're gonna win a lot. Like, okay. I'm trying to may... look for a sim that fits this. I don't want to doubt Peter because Peter often has the very correct idea. <laughs> but I would like to find something if we could find something. Go ahead, Galen. No, 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 no. Nothing to go. Nothing is, like, quite right. All right, what, Where are you going? what's the most important fact? Not aware. Not aware. Maybe like this one. You need big stack opening. You need the guy flatting two, to be covered. Two, two down from there, Louis. There's a 23, a 26, and a 17. Oh, all right. I found one that's OK. It's still not great. I, I that my reaction was because the cutoff the line was ace eight off <laughs> in the one that I found. It's incredibly linear. Uh, let's see, Louis. Did you find a good one? On a pretty decent one. So what's the small blind call? Like that's. Oh yeah, this one looks good too. That's pretty so important. Small blind is a bunch of suited aces, some suited nines, some small pocket. pair. Baby pocket. So, so he's got like pocket sixes, let ace take, ten off. Let me That's take it. a guess. People don't have as much rain jamming here. They yep. just have more calls than these jams. Yep. Like this I've seen here. people call call with some crazy things. So what's the Wait, so you didn't play? even examine our range, Louie. Yeah, no, what's no, the jam no. range? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you do have to be somewhat respectful, but like, A6 and A3, I mean, is there really much of a difference between those? It's, it's really just wanting the ace blocker, right? Yeah. You... It's important, I think, to have two overs to his pocket fives and pocket sixes. Fair, fair. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's where the construction's coming or from. So, fours. yeah, that's fair, Danny. So, like, if he is actually flatting those combos, then the six is relevant. Yeah, because in my sim, at least, he's playing call call with fives and fours, and like ace nine suited, ace ten off. Mine's only for twelve. Um, in game, it's fourteen. Louis has sixteen. Can I share my okay? The twelve. So, so how do you think the range reacts, Danny, if he's not protecting that range with any pairs? Let's say he's Some just going. If yeah, he's just ahead. going bananas with all of his pairs. What do you think happens? Then we can probably just expand a bit. Yeah. And what's he even yeah. flatting though? Exactly. Like if you take this out. Ace ten off. I don't know. Just some Ace of this stuff. Off. But Ace Ten Off's supposed to call as well when we jam. So like, yeah. all right, Ace Eight Off, Ace Four suited, every pair, some of this stuff, and then. Uh, yeah, I would yeah, I, I would know. even venture to say <laughs> that some of this is a fairy tale right here. Like I don't know, dude. Like you think somebody's calling Ace Ten there versus Squeeze Jam? Maybe they are, but uh, I feel I like so. get... that's part of the. The plan when you flat, I think, it's like, all right, I can flat here and call a big blind jam. You know what I'm going to say to myself? I'm going to say this is like the worst ace that I'm flatting, so I'm folding. It's the worst one and the best one. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know. In reality, I might have some ace jack here, ace some ace jack off, where I would probably play call with. My mm -hmm. range would be a little bit, a little higher, if we're deep in a tournament. It's not really picking these low wheels, All right? Jam is showing a profit, but it, yeah, 
might just not be quite as good. But when you play Call and you hit an Ace, it's not like you're in the easiest spot either. You're probably stacking off. Right, yeah. Like you don't there's, love it. There's, there's a mountain of reverse implied odds, I feel like. I would almost feel more comfortable versus a raise and a call folding ace three off than actually just completing if I was deep in the tournament. So a little weak jam here. But maybe he had a read here, right? I maybe think, yeah, think maybe small fine. blind is way too... If small blind just starts getting a little too wide, it probably prints. If he starts mixing in calls with some like crappy suited connectors and stuff that can never stand up to a jam, then you're just gonna, yeah. You're gonna make a it's too much dead money. money. Yeah. Which, in all likelihood, the guy is probably too wide there. Uh, <laughs> fold. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, this is uh, some shenanigans. Bet small call. Bet small. Hmm. Is that Who two not... pair? Like this a... is a straight. Maybe. Two pair plus. Maybe it's a it's a trappy king. Six eight. There's no way six eight falls a turn. But blockers, Louis. But blockers. Okay, so what is it then? The Five, falls this seven. Turn? I don't know, dude. Five, seven. Six, seven? No. Five, seven. Why would six, eight call here? Six, eight of art? That's about it. You have six, eight of art. Uh oh. Here comes trouble. How much trouble is this? <laughs> oh, that's a lot. It's a it's a lot of that's trouble. A lot of trouble, huh? Would you jam this? Oh, we are five handed. Yeah, I would I would jam it five handed, which means this is like pretty close to final table bubble. Like it's gotta be two yeah. final two tables. You ever been raised to God knows what against him? Absolutely. I think not. I prefer min raise, yeah. Dude, min raise? I want to raise fold. First? Raise fold, okay. Yeah. I mean, not to the big blind, obviously. <laughs> Anyone else? Raise, jam, jam. Then you can... But we are five handed, which makes I'm it a just... lot nicer, right? I don't really I'm hate just piling. jamming. Yeah. yeah. I'm just piling here. I don't know. I, like I could see both. It seems chop. Close. Chop coming in. Chop coming in. Deuce. How is Deuce? Ben going to do that? Deuce. Deuce hits the river. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh the complete my. scam. Oh. And that's it. here's the final table, just like that. Oh, by the way, the unluckiest player in the world. That's what he must have said here on this. Honestly, uh, you know, I'm gonna throw you under the bus a little bit, Vince. For being so unlucky, you have been quite lucky in this tournament in a couple yeah, spots. Quite lucky. Quads. It was no, 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 you're forgetting. Eight. He was very, very unlucky because he ran into Ace King. How can the guy have a better <laughs> hand? It's impossible for the guy to have a better hand. Come yes, on. yes. Best yes. player in the That's, world. Run bad logic checks out, Danny. Thank you. Is this it? We're going to strip Once this again, man, this... On the FT title. bubble here, maybe a FT little bubble, more huh? caution is warranted. Like that's why raise fold could be a little better than jam because people uh, look can it look up. up. It's four ranges you're jamming into. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. You look it up. I'm in a pie. You look it up. Look it up. I'm having server issues at the moment. All right, two tables, five handed. Jesus Christ! Under the gun. Man. How many? 11, right? There's no 11. That's the problem. There's only 10 and 13. If we're 5 in, the, does that mean the next one is FT? Or? Do, do. There's also no tiny stack big blind. We should HRC it if we really care. Yeah, no big deal. Do we have the payouts? All right, we can use the old payout. All right, hold on. But I have, this, model, this model should be good enough. Hold on. Let me share, Louis. 
Because if we're min-raising off of 10, surely we're min-raising off of 11. I uh, would uh, agree, and probably. If, if we're min-raising... Hold on. There you go. It shows the stack. If we're min-raising into a guy with 11 chips, surely we can min-raise into a guy with 4 chips. Like, it should just be lean you more toward that option. So. Uh, you can so also just is... fold, bro. You can open fold. I... Yeah, and honestly, like, if the guy only has four big blinds, it's probably a higher risk premium for you, which means maybe you should knit it up more. I don't know. I'm playing jam here just because... Don't do it. It's not good. You don't scary. want to stick your neck out there. Look, it's minus but... 0.09. And this is a 200 man, right? It should be even higher risk premium in a bigger field at FT yeah. bubble. Yeah, I'm curious. I don't know necessarily if bigger risk premium means that you just become more and more and more risk averse. Or if like some, oh, of, some of these if you things could jam get pushed... more, potentially. Yeah, if some of them mm. get pushed into jamming some more. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting point. Can we test that hypothesis at all? I don't know. It's a job for yes, HRC. We can all we can use my the, the the oh my god. What did God do? Do you know the paths? Oh my god. What did God do? It didn't I know the first place. Why is First place is like 11,000. <laughs> yeah. I had it saved the last time, no? Last time. Yes. You could just... Okay, there you go. Close enough, right? That's pretty good. That's going to work. Mm, sure. How many but players you, have you, you, have you only have nine here, yeah. by the way. Like, you got to put in like... Uh, you got to put in a couple more positions to be paid. Just one more. Yeah, one more works. Uh, it's not a thousand though. It's but it's the final table bubble thing. Yeah, it'll remember? be a decent jump. What? So like make it like eight hundred or something. Five, or seven, six, seven. seven. Yeah. It's, yeah, that that seems pretty good. All right, and uh, you got to take it off FTS. That's fine, Louis. Ten left. It'll be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ten's gonna work. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Multi-table. That's right. Uh, blinds are going to be kind of weird. I don't know. Can you put it in... Um, can you get the chips from the replayer? They're here. We don't need the chips. Just do BB. They're right here. You already said it? Yeah. yeah well, if you oh, you copied it, it in. Yeah, okay. Well, if you copy it in, that you have to have the right blinds. Otherwise, yeah. the scale of the tournament is... Wonk. No, it's already, it's all in there. It's good. Okay. How many you players just have there? to fix this one. Ten players uh, remaining. Ten players, ten. Make it twenty. No, 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 no. Wait, it's if you hit left. okay, just hit just okay. Just hit okay and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's probably fine. They just made yeah. them equal. Yeah, it's probably fine. Since we don't know what the stack arrangement is at the other table, like, uh, it's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, change that definitely to two big blinds, because that's where the that's where the point is going to lie. Mm -hmm. Like, And you need jams also, so you, you need to do, like, two big blind, comma, all in. Yeah. You could just copy that to there. Uh, I don't know if blind versus blind is doing the same behavior, and small blind, but doesn't matter. They're not in the hands, right? It's not that blind v blind hand. No, but like it... everything matters when you yeah. do the initial run. This one, yeah. Every like all the 
position strategies influence everyone else's strategies kind of right yeah you're building out a small blind who's only min raising so if you know the small blinds only min raising are going all in what are you going to be doing with your range on the button like you're going to just find the, you... the guy in big blind has five chips so like small blind's just going to play jam or limp yeah you don't really have to worry about it probably good I don't Anyways, think we have I to think... mess with the tree too much. Click preview though, Louis, once you're done in the top right. And we can make sure it looks good. Has all the correct actions and all that. So yeah, we have the jam there. You can even model it out, yeah. Well, this That's is fine. it, right? This is yeah. what we do we need to, to change? Did you do the post flop already? I was getting a banana. Good choice. Add a, a 30 in there. You do anything else here, Galen? No. Just leave it leave it with the geometric sizings. That's all you want. Uh, you don't really need multi-way ones. It's going to blow the tree up a little bit. And you're going to be so short that you just don't really have a bunch of multi-way trees here. We good? Yeah, yeah, this will give mm -hmm. you something. You could add some more abstractions if you really wanted, but um, this is probably going to be good enough for a uh, what we're trying to do. Right. So it's a small tree, so you can run it down to 20 and then run the subtree down to like 5, which is also really small. Well, the subtree is like the full tree, no? We want to no, see no, no, whether no. we jam or raise. Let's run the whole tree down to like 20 real yeah. quick. Yeah, something like that. Well, Louis yeah. right, right? About what, the subtree? Yeah, well, I mean, we're only curious in the subtree, but you still have to shape the ranges. No, no, he's right that the subtree is basically the whole tree because we're interested in our preflop action, which then we're first to act. Yeah, I guess that's that is true. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, yeah, you're right, sorry. Well, I mean, I guess you could click the... No, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. It is the whole tree. Still shouldn't take too long. No. When you say I'll give the good answer, anyway? Uh, 10 is kind of what like they typically tell you to benchmark a reasonably strong answer. 20 is going to be close, though. I think it's fine. And you're seeing some of the same behavior that we saw in that uh, GTO was. Uh, it, this looks like a pip wider, but um, yeah. I like to go really... to 20 and then do reset strategies and run it down to like 10. And that cleans up the edges. Like you leave the regret, but. Reset you, strategies will you don't remove need the noise that if on you the don't fringes. Know that. You need reset strategies to. I, no. I've read about this. No. Yeah, Danny's you don't need right. That. You don't need that if you Louis. don't. That. Even if you, you don't, don't have to, read you don't it. have to do it, but it's not going to hurt you if you do it, and it will clean things up a little bit. I'm telling that you, this is only if you know that range. Fringe. No, yeah. not regret. Jesus Christ, you don't listen it, at all. It, <laughs> It don't both. listen at all. It clicks both at once. What no, you, you can only no. reset strategies if you would like to. You can't reset regret without resetting strategies, but you can reset strategies without resetting regret. Danny's right about this. But you already like, equipped really... it. It's too late. It's fine. It's just going to have to like reconverge some of the work you did. Go ahead, Galen. You can defend me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the reset the reset strategy things like it, it just like danny said like it look establishes like uh, loose boundaries for like the whole range <laughs> just look and at it just Roger cleans up the like the marginal frequencies around the edges is all that really goes on there i think Roger the reset can. regret thing is like if you actually like start i think regret is like when you start like node blocking things like you need to reset the regret for some of the the sub trees and things yeah. like that yeah if you hadn't clicked reset regret, the convergence interval would have started at 20. Yeah, you'd have been like done. It would have begun from here. Um, but which, it would have which... basically just kind of... I don't know how reset do. strategies works exactly, but it, it'll like re-look at what it wants to do with the hands around the fringes. 
All right. You know what it reminds me of? Like, um, I don't know if you've played with like those AI images very much, like generating AI images. Well, people do like a lot of work, and then they um, they they're called checkpoints. So they spend a lot of computational resources running like a an image to like a, a certain accuracy using whatever that algorithm is. And you can download these checkpoints, and you can use that to model images off of. So it just like it does a lot of the grinding work and uh it you just basically build images and things off of that framework yeah that's what I i've been doing actually you copy copy paste the prompt for from professionals or people that do nice images or you find a style that you like and you copy paste their prompt then you edit with what you want in it yeah that's yeah that's kind of how those checkpoints work. So like if you have a style of image that you want to keep reproducing. Well, if you just like somebody's work and you're like, okay, this is nice, but instead of like a cat, I want like uh, somebody playing poker. The yes. same, you know, so you can just start exactly like start from where they left. And you're just like miles away from anyone. All right, click run in background. It'll finish up in a minute. And then... It's, it's already down to 10, really. Like the, other days. Days. To... the same strategy, right? We don't jam a say it off. Uh, click you're away actually... click back. I don't know if it, if it refreshed or not. Someone said the other day you have to like go to the other range and come back. Just go to any other range. like uh Yeah, hijack to... Yeah, there. There you go. So if you okay. click it, you're losing quite a bit... I think it was like 20 bucks or something. Yeah, yep. 20 bucks. So it's like, it's honestly, it's not even really close. Min raising is just above and beyond. All right. I will try to remove punting from my game. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. Just remember the more unknown ranges, the more careful you have to be. You can jam this on the button for sure, right? But because yes. you're hijacked, those two extra guys in there make quite a difference. Well, yeah, as you see here, it's not a chance. But we got bailed by the river. Happy days. So it wasn't unlucky, Vince. It was a skill issue. Yeah, skill issue. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Skill issue. We found actually. Oh, well, that's what we're gonna tell him. We found a few skill issues here, Vincent. So that's a good call. <laughs> That'll get him good. Actually, I can't resist. I'm gonna tell him right away. Where is he? Messed up. <laughs> Seems, uh, Vincent, we have a couple skill issues we need to go over. So in the spirit of linear rejams, you ever play jam with this A6 suited? Because I would just call, but I don't think it's crazy. Uh, I, what, what did he do? <clears throat> see, I assume he played thing? call, but I don't You never know. Uh, this is... It's button this is, cut off. Maybe. Honestly, Danny, like I'm not doing this typically like what like what's that flatting range? That flatting range is like not really supposed to exist, I don't think. The button guy, yeah. Pretty pretty slim. Maybe nothing. Okay, well this guy's just like that's probably not how he's supposed to play that. Not at all. Yep. Uh yeah, this is probably yeah. This is just a call, I think. This is final table, correct? It it just seems like it's yeah. gone kind of quick. Uh, no. I don't yeah, know. I almost forgot. No, it is. It is right. I don't. Think it was so. five. Well, it was five handed. So, like, what arrangement could you have five handed? That. I know, but we didn't get the the chip up. Uh, you, didn't get a, you didn't get a roll back. Yeah. Maybe, did we go uh, nine or eight handed? It was eight-handed. I assume that there was a, a bust at the other table. Maybe he was just a weird scenario where they had like a double bust out and there was a hand in between or something. Oh. Uh... Let's look. We don't have any rollback here. We well, if it's hand, not final two, then maybe Ace-8 is a little better to... 
Uh, well, it would like have to be final be three. Bad. It would have to be final three at least, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so as well. We'll, we'll see from so. here. Okay. So this is a yeah. ball? Yeah, you just call this. Yeah, yeah. Even final table, I think you're just having to call it. I think that that's a pretty good jam. Uh, I was going to say, I think that's a pretty good jam, to be honest. I don't think that's a bad jam at all. You think it's a good jam? Please. Yeah. I think it's the island. I'm not jamming Queen 6, or maybe I'm not brave enough. You're not Grow studied it. enough. Grow up here. Am I? It must be the one under the limp call range. Oh, we can run it fresh. Nice, yeah. Yeah, you But now we're not sure how many close. players are left. No, yeah, but we have a very final. similar hand that was just ran. So we don't need. Yeah, to... call it final table bubble. It's fine. It's not going to be that far off. La da 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 da. Like this? Uh, looks okay. Not a jam. Bro, you just clicked the button two seconds ago. Not a jam. Do you even know how this machine works, bro? Because I don't exactly. Not a jam. Look. You see, it's not purple. You know what purple is, right? Uh, wait, wait, is that like, I thought it was like lavender. Crickets. Oh, we, we were, we were waiting for it to like run down a little bit, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't think we're open folding King five here. No. So I'm going to wait for it to run. Yeah. Open folding king five seems crazy. I don't know. You imported the hand? Yes. Okay. Let's find out. The opening size is 2.5 and all in. 2 and all in, looks like. Yeah, that's what you did, which is kind of weird. Like, um, I guess you do have some two X opens when you're at this stack def, so it's probably fine. Still pretty high. Why is it so high? Oh, I think I know. I I'm running the you whole. Can run thing. the subtree. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't run the subtree. Should I cancel? Okay. Cancel. Yeah, yeah. It saves all this work that it's done up till here, and then go into the subtree. Strategies reset. Yeah. Oh no. Uh no no, no need. I mean, actually, you could. It doesn't hurt. I Please. usually press strategies reset. Yeah yeah. I guess you can. You're right, you're right. There it is. I know oh, wait, did you? Wait, 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 wait. Did you? I don't think you changed the stack depths, did you? Did you change the stack depths? What are you jamming into? Like, what's the big blind got here? Chip wise? We're the shortest. We're 11. That's right. He imported the hand. Oh, but yeah, okay. click, expand the node just to make sure. 
Yeah. Like so what's file stuff? But... What's the guy calling with? Just click the call button. I want to see. Yeah, that's that's kind of reasonable. Very reasonable range indeed. Yeah, maybe it is overdoing it on this stone final table bubble. Maybe you don't jam it. Yeah, felt weird. But we're not exactly on the stone stone bubble either. But I, that doesn't mean I probably wouldn't still jam it on the stone bubble. I don't know if I would. <laughs> What about this scared. one? Button open, short stack. We put his nose in. Give him a, give him like a, a, a micro. No, no. Lin throws a uh, blaster jack. Don't we call? Don't I we just you... uh, call suited and jam off suit? Uh, yeah, typically. Well, I think you can jam suited. And then you can not all in offsuit stuff. When the risk premium mm. goes up. Because when you get called, yeah, okay. you, have the, you have the extra equity. Versus button. Hmm. Did you add a. You gotta change a bunch what of our stuff three bet around. Size is. Yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure you have a good three bet tree. Just go to preview and you can look at it there. Yeah. So like make it three bet. Button open. And... Let's see what the size will be. That's one a jam. Up. One up. Turn the jam off. Turn that off. That's too big. There's no need to turn it off. Yeah, not turn it off, but like uh, he was oh, just but yeah, yeah, it. yeah. So what was it? Wait, what's it going? Six point six. Let's just do six, right? Uh oh, wait. Eight point three is all in, isn't it? What's going on there? Why? Are you yeah, that's the small blind. Line? We're in the big line here. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, I don't know, 6.6 .6 is probably okay. You might be able to go smaller. Like, I think maybe making it, like, a straight 6 would probably be straight okay. Straight 6. I like straight 6. So, 3 so bet, big blind versus, versus others. Just yes. drop it to 3. Yeah, drop it to straight 3. That'll get the job done versus steel. Very efficient risk reward versus a twenty stack. So like run it to twenty or so. Full tree though, not sub tree. So again, when do you use reset strategy? Reset strategies? Yes. Reset strategies is after you've converged one of these down to a certain accuracy. And you see how like 8.4 off is in there at 7%, 7.3 off is in there at 2%. If you do reset strategy and run it to a higher accuracy, it'll clean up some of that like fractional garbage okay. that propagates through all of your trees. So it cleans the range, basically, from the noise. Yeah, yeah. Because when you start having those fractional like strategies, that's how you end up with really, really goofy looking ranges that respond to those. Well, that stuff is kind of just noise as well. Like it. If yeah, you exactly. have a properly run sim, it's it shouldn't be there. It somehow like gets there when the way the math works, I think it 
kind of converges to this like local minimum where these strategies remain in here but the true like overall global minimum will not contain those strategies and you have to like yes, shake right. it up a little bit to to get it out of that local find the, yeah, the true to, best to actually do that you have Hello? Gradient descent. There's some fancy language. There we go. When you make mistakes with your with your drawing, you shake it up. <laughs> it would be fun to do a little uh like math background how solvers work. Uh what is gradient descent type of thing. I could mm. do a little session on that sometime. Yeah. That sounds fun. I'd feel like I'm in school again. Okay, Math Jamie, class. you're pretty strong actually, right? You guys can hear Jam me? Jam the babies, huh? Yeah. Unclearly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so Jamie is pretty good. Uh, should you see Beth here multi-way as a big stack? I mean... Only if you want to triple off with an airball. I don't think it's probably a bad, like, one-and-done situation. The king-queen six is going to be kind of scary to defend. But it could... the Yeah. It could have some nice bluff properties across some runouts. Those suited ace wheels often make a good bluff on some of those high card boards that we don't hit. All right, this is final table. There's nine. Yeah, promised lands, finally. And under the gun, ace jack off first hand. <laughs> Lovely. You absolutely love to see that one get folded through, actually. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's a good omen. Mm, fold? Uh, I would fold, yes. Hmm. How unlucky can you possibly be? This might be a tiny bit small. Nah, it should be good. I was thinking a tiny bit big. I like the size. <laughs> it's mid-stack, mid-stack violence, so you... Yeah, I think you three, but fairly polar and larger sizing. Can we check back this the club short. without the club? Um, I don't know. I kind of like just betting. It's kind of an air ball for his continues. Like he doesn't have a ton of. I mean, I guess he's got some four or five. He doesn't really have a bunch of three X. Can't you range bet? I would. I, that's kind of what I'm saying. Is I would lean towards range bet just. It's Are probably whatever. The big, big blind here? Yeah. Yeah, on an FT. Get that turn card you got to block. Probably one. See, I, yeah. I I'm feel the opposite. Wouldn't we bet all our ace on the flop? Um, No. Right, because our aces don't want to get blown off their gut shot and their showdown. Exactly. So that's why you would call versus like a raise. Hmm. Or you could call against a raise. Can you run this one, Louis? I, I know Chip EV is going to be very different. Just look at our flop strat, if you don't mind. Let's look at some of those. So crisp you EV think raises. like. Yeah, maybe. Okay, okay. What, bet like half the time? 70? I think less than that. It's 
how we're going to be polarized on. This one how, gets a little. How, this gets murky though because it's like their final table defend range is, is how close is it going to be to actual what you see here? Fifty fifty, right? So. Like a lot of what I was like advocating for is predicated upon like them folding a little bit more preflop. Yeah, the problem is like it's a it's a flush draw board, so like you're just you're never gonna make a flush drop. No, not really. Right, so they're gonna continue with like a quarter of their range and then some pairs. Like betting this much might just be over betting. And like Maybe. they're never gonna fold an ace as an overcard because it is the gutter. So I uh, I just don't think you're gonna generate enough fold equity here without sizing up. Yeah, maybe. Like you can see, <laughs> like it's eight it's using a bunch of eighty three and a bunch of fifty five here. But like your your hands like pocket nines need protection and need to make flush draws uh not desire to call. Just a call here? Nah bro, three bet him. I would three bet the, the, the low ones. What not do you mean the low one. ones? Like uh, King five, King Three, King Four. <clears throat> um those are probably not bad, maybe a bit wide, but this is definitely a fine three bet. Is it a three bet fold though? FGS now, right? Mm, you might no. want to use Wiz for this. I think this tree will take a while. <laughs> you gotta do Malmuth, but yeah, I think Danny's right because you you aren't like super shallow now, so the tree will get complex. Let's try it. Two bed size would be fine, right? Uh, look at it. <clears throat> Do preview real quick, just to make sure. Bro, this is gonna take forever. So hijack raise. Then button strategy. Yeah, so you're going to five here, you would need to... Um, 5.5? Yeah, like 5.5. 5. Is that 3x? Uh, 2.5x. No, 2.75. Yeah, two, there you go, 2.75. It's pure call in the sim I found. Louis right with the low ones. Um, your button, right? You don't want a three button have to fold to a some four bet. I jack and then button two five and a half. Okay, so that's okay, right? <clears throat> <laughs> so I mean, at, at a final table, you shouldn't be doing a ton of flatting. Is the only thing. I show us the range you found, Danny. Yeah, I do want to see. Yeah, but the stacks behind are correct, which I think is kind of important because um, we can get squeeze jammed on by either of them and his range will change based on who he's opening into. So I think that's a little more important than us having like eight more chips, which I found a different config. Hey, will you uh, just... Will you change it to the cutoff range real quick? I just want to see how that range morphs a little bit. No, 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 no. Hijack open. Oh, sure. Cut, cut off is the... Uh, it's about the same. Um, so pretty similar, It's not huh? that much different. Okay. <clears throat> and then, yeah, if cutoff opens, how does that look? Again, pretty similar. Same, same construction pretty much across the board. Okay. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah, I guess, I guess if they're like uh, four betting correctly, like what's the four bet response? Yeah, so they're just putting a lot of stuff in your face. They so won't I, do this very much, right? In reality, I don't, I don't think maybe so. not. I wonder this if, like, uh, if you start removing like king queen here, and some of those, how it changes the range. I don't know. <clears throat> we can run it down in the background and then do some locking. Mm -hmm. Well, the matrix is already very similar, right? To what the one you're seeing the same behavior, but oh, yeah, the, there you go. The key thing that we were kind of like touching on is I think some of this construction is because of like how they're responding with four bets and stuff. So if they're not responding like a solver to four bets, what happens? It would be better to flap, basically. What? <laughs> what? This feels bad. One of them doesn't have a king. Oh, I think I saw the sand live. What is going on? Yeah, yeah, Roger. That was the point I was trying to make uh, about the four bet ranges. Like, I, I feel like how you handle the, this part of the range is going to change with regards to that. See, I think like most people, like they're not going to bluff very much before the final table. But some guys, when they get on the final table, they've just put on their hero cape, right? And they become like blasters, like. I I don't know if I've seen this phenomena. No, you've never seen people going wild. Not enough to make like a whole population. Like I'm not gonna make like a tag of like final table superhero or something. I'm not saying there's like not like one offset that do that. What did they have? We kind of just grazed over that. One of them had... A flush draw and one had a worse king or something? Aces and then a king. Wild. <clears throat> All right, everyone limps. A big bet has been made. A bet and a raid, I think we fold. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, this what dude's punt this guy's punting with like ace ten or something. Pocket three. Oh my so. god. That's nice. A there you go. Maybe yeah. six and a half. I think that's I a good know. one. Sizing nitpick because he has twenty five, not twenty. Either way, six works. Should we defend Jack Eight here? Probably, but it's close. It's getting, it's getting close. Yeah, it's the bottom, I think. I think I would fold Jack Seven off. Ooh, I mean, yeah. What else I are like, you gonna I, do? I don't really I like, don't like squeezing. squeezing. I don't either. Don't really want to fold. Oh boy, we we oh made boy. a mess. We've made oh a mess. Boy. Why didn't we fold pre? <laughs> <laughs> so you got a call here? Yeah. Uh, I mean, what else are you gonna do? Oh yeah, my Roger, god, everyone. Wonder... Oh man, I wonder if we could like make it five. You want to race like, it, Pre or something weird? You want to You're gonna play. You're gonna play click fold. No, no, pre, Louis. I don't know what I'm doing on this flop. I'm going to call, I guess. 
I want to play... Do I want to play click fold? That's what I don't know. If it, it might have to be good enough to click call off the 14er. Nah, I don't know. Five? Five and a half and then fold? Is that wild? What's Roger <laughs> saying? Chat here? I don't know, man. Like Click it five, not versus 11. So you would make it five and call off the 14 guy? It seems kind of close. I don't know. Yeah. Play the church instead. Yeah, I don't know. So weird here, hand. just jam. Very weird hand. The church again. Mm. Don't like that spot. And he's not having to do a lot of hard work here. The deck is kind of sitting on his face. Yeah, <laughs> it feels that way. <laughs> aces, ace king, aces, ace king. Get flatted by cutoff. So we looked at that flatting range. It's going to be a lot of suited Broadway stuff, which hits queen jack board very well. I like check. Um, what happened on on turn, Louis? Flop, flop was check check or what? Yeah. Why would we bet the turn now? We've been downgraded further. We're trying to get to showdown. I don't know what we're protecting against. Some random ace eight of hearts, I guess, has still uh, seven outs here. No, they don't even have an ace as an out. It's only well, a ten. The yeah, king... there's no reason to bet here, right? Well, I see one I like reason. Betting. The king is the best card for out of position. Because he doesn't flat kings, he doesn't flat ace king. So we have the best king. So sometimes the king here is pretty good for us. Wait, why do you think he doesn't flat king x? No, pocket kings or ace king. So he's missing all the good kings. Okay. I guess if you're gonna bet, then this size makes sense. Like, I don't think we want to turn our hand into a bluff, so... Micro bet or check, I guess, are both okay. And now we are screwed. <laughs> I think I mean, this is a call. I don't like calling this. What are you beating? What about a savage bluff jam? Uh, he's not folding a king, so I don't know if I like it. Like, like, what, what are you, um, get him off the queen? Yeah, okay. Well, I don't know if he's betting like this with a queen, or he shouldn't need to bet like this with a queen. I feel like I would like to, if like you're gonna open a betting dialogue on the turn, like why not just go like small, small. Like, and then fold to, like, a raise. I feel like you might just save yourself some money. And you kind of box out bluffs. Probably, like, not the most GTO thing, though. Okay. But what if you're in this line? Do you call? Because I, personally, okay, I think the 10 is good. We don't have bluffs. Uh, the 10 is blocking ace 10. It's blocking 9-10. Uh, the king pair is less likely as a king. Look at the chip to use our reads. It's whatever reads we have will tilt me one way or the other. Yeah, and then you look at the guy. Is that them to steal? Is he aggressive? Is he, you know? Just previous hands I've played with him. What he's shown down. What lines he's taken before. Let's see. Let's see what. So what are you trying? What are you trying to get called? Like, what do you think this is? Like, what what bluff is here that you're eager to hero call verse? Got a bit of clubs in there, maybe. I'm not eager of, uh... to hero call. I'm just, I think this hand has the quality to make hero calls. Let's say he's got ace four of clubs. That would make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but he might I, just check back. I don't care about like your personal feelings or how eager you are. I'm just saying, like, what are the targets? Like, Danny articulated one. Like, okay, he could have missed clubs here sometimes. What clubs are in there that don't have like some piece of this? The ace wheel. Ace wheel? Okay, sure. Yeah, 10-8, 9-8. 10, eight, nine, eight. Ten eight is maybe a bit stretching with this arrangement. 9-8, same, but maybe they're in there. I don't know. Uh, 
What was your question, Louis? Uh, would he bet a five like that? I just don't know if he has too many fives other than ace five. And maybe people I don't mean... generally turn pairs into bluffs. That's one thing population is bad at. What do you think he does with pocket seven? Bet bet. Check it back. Dude, if you have pocket sevens here, you face a one chip bet on the turn and then you get checked two on the river. You're, aren't you snap checking back and hoping to beat some yes. type stuff? Yeah, I am. That's what I would be doing. I don't I don't, I don't like intuitively find turning pocket sevens into a bluff here. Do you fold or do you go? I would call. I think I fold. Well, well, I look at the chip distribution, okay? It's like almost equal stacks minus one. The pay jumps are huge. I feel like that's going to tilt me away from, like, making zero EV calls. Okay. Yeah. Fold versus most players, um, but maybe this guy can there earn it is. a call. Yeah. yeah, he earned a call. And he what had, a like, float, a... man. All right. That's what betting one can get you floated by, right? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, he'd have got me. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty wild, man. Like, just punting with it. He's too soft. Is this a spot where you just put the cookies in the minis? That was uh, the Vince special right there. Vince got the Vince maximum. Yeah, he did get the Vince, Vince max. I think this I would just pile. I yeah. would just pile in this guy's face. Very resilient jam. Big blind versus button. Ace Jacko. Uh, this feels a bit wide. Maybe. A, a little bit wide, yeah. What did we min raise from the cutout from hijack, right? Yeah, hijack. Into eh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, probably a little wide. Can't be that bad. Raise call. And what? Win. What? And loose. Oh, the church. The church was open for us. Oh, big tree bed. I like it. It was Sunday after all. Oh, once again. Yeah, he's finding the he's finding the kings from the big blind, which is good, I think. Yeah. Offsuit combos from the big blind. It's hard to go wrong. One club in our hand. Should we see bet? What is this, blind versus blind, limp check pot? Yes. I want to bet kind of big here. You got two overs, you got three to a straight, you got three to a flush. You say big, I would just want it. Might be a big board, though. Feels like it's hard to defend. I, I would bet big here. Check raise. Check raise seems okay, I guess, maybe. Checking it out. Look at that. Overbet. It goes really big. Really, really big if it's going big. This is a good call, right? King Deuce. It's not it's not amazing, but it's not bad, right? Or is it? You gotta call, it's only two point five. Call. We have a king. Wow, what a cool over. There you can complain about being unlucky. Unbelievable. Manage the pot. Play call, call, call. Dog jams. Is that what he did? Yes. How do we feel about dog jamming here? I don't understand. This is a gallon check and trade type of spot. Yeah, that's what I'm doing there. Now, like, I feel like this is a reasonable exploit if you don't, th if you think the guy's shutting down for whatever reason. Like, he's done it twice now, and I don't think he's doing it from the right spots. Yeah, I would definitely be checking here. The nine, like, actually makes it a pretty appealing board to bluff. Like, there's a lot of. You just got to buckle up, right? Check and pre-bets. And if he doesn't, well, he doesn't. It's not a scary board. Everything missed, right? Outside of the straight. 
So. Yeah, I mean, like, how many straights does he really have all, that connect with a nine? Like, it's not like he has eight six here. I guess it could be eight jack sometimes. I would limp here more than I raise. I like limping here too. Or no, actually, I like raising in that arrangement. You're like the chip leader, and that guy is like kind of boxed up here. I don't know if you should be like giving him any free lunch. Ah, okay. Nice flop. Fold. Easy, easy fold. Easy. Yeah, I like that. It's, I don't like checking back. Okay, he he raises pre flop, gets an ace, and he plays check. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on here. Like uh, this is like very ranged, Betty. If you're gonna be playing go like raise pre flop, I think. If we're right, but I think we're pretty much. I don't think eight nine suited is going to be in that range really, but. If you do have something and you are raising, you're probably supposed to be like betting it. Ooh, six. Four bet. Jack. Ooh, this is. What is going on? Honestly, it's probably not bad from like an ICM standpoint. Like he's supposed to fold like a, a ton of stuff, I think. But uh, this is scary. Thanks for guys clowning. Why not just call though? Yeah, I mean, this guy has five percent three bet over two hundred in. Yeah, dude, honestly, like this guy's not messing around. <laughs> <laughs> Why not just call? I'm not we doing have a that. Nice hand in position versus small size flops very just, well. Yeah, just very call clear whether we've hit on the flop. Savage. Oh. He, he's we going got for max him, pressure. Man. What are you gonna say, Pete? Oh, what does a nit want for Christmas? Chance to make a good fold, tight fold. So like, there this go. guy's knit, he's looking at these pay jumps and these two guys who are here, and he's like, I can outlast it. He's going to fall. But like, if he's a knit who's only three betting queens plus ace king, yeah. I don't think he's looking to fold. Every two years, he find one bluff, and that was it. That was the mm -hmm. one. Yeah, <laughs> told you. It's like There's if Roger three bets you here on the on the big blind. If Roger three bets me, I'm four betting for sure. Because <laughs> you know oh, what? He's gonna look at that running into ace. I was never there for like... betting Roger because yeah. he, he never ever three bets as a bluff. <laughs> he never does shots, it. You shots fired, Roger. Something. No, no, it's it's a bluff because Roger at this stack depth would jam all his good stuff. He doesn't right. have any. He doesn't have any non all in three bets here. Oh my goodness! So I'm think, I'm four betting Roger. Putting bluffs in Roger's <laughs> range. Oh my goodness. Uh, put him in, I guess. I like the raise. Jam's good. Raise, good. Uh, raise. That one? Small. I would go small, yeah. Got a barrel here. Uh, maybe you keep going on the ace. Maybe you do keep going on the ace. No. I get why he checks. Check back. I get it. I get it. But I would bet the ace. Well, now, Wait, why is now the pot so big? Why is the yeah, pot so big? Go. Well, it was a limp, raise, call, c-bet, uh, flop. Uh, and, th and then the ace hits the turn and like we oh, check. I don't. He failed to bet here on the turn. I like betting this turn. I think it's good. I don't know about the flop size. Um, a third pair, I'm probably playing check on the flop a lot. But I think check makes sense, yeah. Or bet smaller, maybe? Maybe. Bet third. Oh. All right. Well, Surprising. It never, never it? bets this turn. Yeah, you gotta check. You're not bluffing, man. You have a good hand. And do you call with it? Oh, God. Turn it. Jam. Wow. Oh, that's sexy. 
Wow. Darn it. Well, I'm stone 50 50 on the turn here. Never seen that. 50.0. Yeah, when a guy shows you 7-3 here, does he does this guy forget that he's gonna have to play a heads up match or a three-way after that for a couple of hands? Why would he show that? He's proud, man. He's proud, but you know, whenever you're suggesting suggesting adjustments, it's pretty weak. All you have to do, Louis, is you have to open up your notepad and type ego bluffer. Uh, he's a, he's out there bluffing to show it down so he can throw some laughing emojis in the chat. I mean, he played the hand well as well, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I don't be know if he a played bigger. it. I don't know about the size, but... I don't know he if he played it well because he knew he played it well or if he just had it in his mind that he was going to bluff that hand. I take it back. He should have folded pre. But once yeah. he was there, he played it fine. There you go. But then, yeah, like showing it, I don't know. Why? Ego bluffer. 30 big blind jam. How do we feel about that? Heads up. Probably like a bit much. First this 11. Average, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this that. sand seems to absolutely savage. Oh my god, if he's calling with queen three, I like it. Jeez, how could he talk here? Oh, did they make a deal? Oh, oh they did deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I said they deal. Uh, no, 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 no. That's why. Okay, that changes it a little bit. Yeah, it's 4 8, 10 5. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Dude, I was. All right. Well, it was a nice little hand history. But. We noticed we're finding quite a few skill issues, Vince. If you're listening to this, <laughs> I'd be kind of worried if I was you. This was an above average hand history. You know, I might give it like a 7.2 yeah. out of 10. Yeah. But, you know, skill issues, something you got to work on. Like pair boards, Vince. Come on. Come on. All Just right. a few oddities in there. Yeah, the big bet on King King three, the open of A six O. That's what I was thinking. Um, anything else come to mind? Uh, river so River like Dumb Jams with the nuts. Yeah. Oh, maybe a few spots you could open jam where you didn't the ace seven zero, and then a few you could open min raise where you jammed the ace eight zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.